basically this world is not made for us the way we live our lives is not the, is not made for us we spend most of our day sitting down and eating if we lived even a hundred years ago we'd be walking more we'd be doing stuff with our body more we'd be more physically active we'd be around more men we wouldn't be behind screens we wouldn't be at computers we wouldn't have all this net unnatural light we wouldn't be eating all these seed oils and all this sugar and all this caffeine and all the drugs in our food we wouldn't be nearly as polluted as we are our testosterone levels will be higher because we're getting more sunshine we're eating more meat we're the environment is what creates a lot of these disorders so a lot of times you'll be like oh it's a it's a genetic thing or you know somehow it's a disease that you contracted but it's like no if you put a a lion or a panther i think it was a panther put a panther in a cage normally it's out in the out in the wilderness doing its thing but if you put it in a cage it will literally just pace back and forth like all day long now does that now is that panther have hyperactivity <laughs> or is it just a fucking panther that's not where it belongs i was listening to a really good uh podcast with with uh dr huberman and ann bernanke or some shit like that i forget her name but she was an expert on addiction and she said the number one reason why men fall into addiction is because boredom we're bored it's a boring fucking world that we live in even if even if you have a lot of food on your plate meaning a lot of things to do and you got a packed schedule it's still boring yesterday i had a full packed day i did 10 zoom calls yesterday I worked my face off all day, and at the end, I was just bored. Like, I've been busy the entire day, but I haven't done anything. That's what a lot of our life is a lot like that. It's like when you really turn around and look at it, it's like, you were there, you engaged, but what did you do? A couple weeks ago, we because spring is coming, I cleaned up my orchard, and that's physical labor. I actually did something. We went, we, um, we dug up all the weeds, cut up a bunch of boxes to lay down, and then we laid mulch on top of it, and then I fixed all my sprinklers. And then when I was done, I was exhausted, but I could look and I'm like, wow, I did that. Being on Zoom calls or doing Google documents or, or, or posting stuff on Instagram is boring. It's, we're not doing anything. So when you think you have ADHD, the fact is that you're just a panther in a cage. Right? We live in an artificial world. It's like, art, what I'm trying to say is like, it's artificial stimulation. This is fake stimulation. Even us, like we're here right now, and I appreciate you guys' presence and your attention and you're watching me and stuff, but it's still fucking artificial. Because if we were actually in a meeting room together and we were speaking face to face, first of all, I would have more, I'd be able to see our reactions a little bit more readily. We'd be all in the same sort of environment so we would feed off each other, we'd feel each other, we, would, we could ask questions more spontaneously and not only just hear one another but look at each other, see each other, sense each other. Even in between the questions and in between the sessions, we'd have like small conversations. We'd be getting up, sitting down, stretching, eating. So that's a real thing. As opposed to, you know, one, one, we're one step faker, uh, closer to a fake world with Zoom calls for everything now, right? My point is that there's a good, there's a good chance that many people who are diagnosed with these so-called disorders are just panthers in a cage. It's like you don't belong there. This world is not made for you. And if you're, and if you're, if you're, uh, uh, you know, numbing yourself with video games and pornography or drinking and and drugs. Remember, it's because you're trying to, most of the time, I th and she asserted, she's a scientist. She said most men, because she was talking about men. It was about why are men falling into these addictions? She says, because most men are bored. <laughs> we live a boring fucking life. So, yeah, man, that's, anyway, that's my opinion on that. That's my little rant on that. I hope that helps, dude. Done.